Hi, my name's Simon Howard and I'm the Marketing Director at Bailey of Bristol. And I'm here with Bailey Brand Ambassador Lee Davey at Truma's headquarters in southern Germany. We've recently spent seven nights in freezing cold temperatures in the brand new Bailey Laura motorhome. Uh, it's powered by a brand new diesel heating system and we're here today to find out a little bit more about it. So Lee and I are joined here today by Craig Hawthorne of Truma, who's the product manager for thermal systems, which, which in English is, is, is heating and hot water. Thanks, Craig, for inviting us here today. I know diesel heating systems are new, new to Bailey and, and they're pretty rare in the UK, but they're not new to Truma, are they? Perhaps you could let me know, when, when did you first develop your diesel heating system? Right, so uh, the Combi diesel heating system was developed actually over 15 years ago. Fantastic. Um, now you've got the two systems side by side here and they look look virtually identical in terms of the, the footprint and I understand that they're both four kilowatt systems and they'll both give you 10 litres of hot water. As you mentioned, um, they are exactly from the outside, they're more or less the same product. What differentiates them is the burner system in between and the, the, the know-how that we bring into the diesel system. They're offered in two types of models, so the diesel system is offered in a four kilowatt and six kilowatt model, and also you have the option for electric heating. What will be the lifespan of that, that burner? So th the burners are laid out for uh, and tested for 3,000 hours, and up to 10 years uh, is our, our design principles. Before this week, um, I'd never even used the diesel system from Truma. Um, with our caravan, we're gas and electric. So it's trying to work out the considerations that you may have if you're in the UK and you're used to gas and electric as, as to why, you know, diesel could be for you. So I'm not a fan of spending money unnecessarily. So how does tell, how, tell, uh, tell, 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 yeah, yeah. So how would that compare to a gas? I mean, how, how efficient, how cost effective is a diesel system to run compared to the gas and electric? The efficiencies are pretty much identical between the, the gas heater and the diesel heater. So both are very highly efficient heaters. Secondly, um, a diesel heater is actually more economical compared to uh, a gas heater with the standard 11 kilograms bottles. So if you compare the price of a, a refillable 11 kilogram bottle with that of the diesel, actually it's around 40% uh, cheaper to run a diesel heater according to today's prices. Use the meter, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And with that in mind as well, how are the green credentials on the diesel heating compared to the gas and electric? Um, a gas heater is generally has a less, a lower carbon footprint than a diesel heater. However, it, um, our diesel heater here, you can run it with uh, biodiesel. So with the legally amount of biodiesel allowed in uh, diesel in Europe. And also, it's a, we have it actually tested and certified to run on uh, pure renewable uh, diesel, which is called HVO. This is starting to come into the market, and this is a truly 100% renewable uh, diesel fuel. One of the questions that I had in my mind, is there a separate tank for the diesel, or does it run off the main tank? Great question, Lee. So it actually does run off the, uh, the main tank. Okay, and um, with that in mind, if it runs off the main tank, uh, can it use all the tank, or is there a buffer to, so that you can go out and refuel? Exactly. So it's physically impossible for the vehicle to run out of diesel fuel. Okay. Uh, so how we've designed the tank sets is there's always a reserve at the bottom of the tank. So you'll, you can always drive to the next fuel uh, tank station or gas station and fill up. But what has Truma done with, with keeping this not only efficient, but also sort of user friendly as well? Have, have you, um, has the engineering process covered things like uh, noise uh, use uh, and that sort of thing? So we have a special, we put in a special emphasis on minimizing the noise. Even though a diesel heater is a little bit louder than a gas heater, we've found ways to optimize and reduce the noise levels. For example, one, uh, there's two, uh, two normal source, uh, sources. Is one is the, the fuel pump and the other is the f uh, f uh, flue exhaust. So from the fuel pump side, uh, we've improved or optimized the controls in order to minimize the attenuating sound of the pulsing for uh, feeding the fuel. Also, we offer um, a specific, a special type of uh, pump holder that decouples the sound from the chassis. So this means you if you're inside the vehicle, you won't be hearing this, this pulsing. So we fit both systems, so they're both brilliant, um, but what would you say were some of the advantages of the diesel system in terms of, maybe in terms of practicality? Yeah, so the diesel is, uh, I would say the number one benefit is convenience. So as we, we mentioned before, you'll never run out of fuel. You have a very large diesel tank. Um, it's very easy to uh, go and refill it. 
there's diesel available all over the continent or in the UK. Um, furthermore, you don't need to worry about how much gas is left in the tank. Are you going to run out? Do you have to start rationing uh, and turn off the heater at night? Or And then, you know, you're freezing yeah. in the bed because you're trying to save uh, the, what little fuel you have. Also, if you're traveling in France or Italy or Spain and you run out of fuel, uh, run out of gas, you need to get a, a bottle there and you will need an additional adapter. So this is a... I think it's a big hassle, for, especially for people that are going onto the continent. So a diesel heater is just much more convenient in that yeah, regard. Yeah, it's convenient, I guess, is this peace of mind, it's simplicity. I mean, from from, from a converter's point of view, manufacturer's point of view, the, 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 from a design perspective, for us, the diesel his system is very good in even vehicles, smaller vehicles where space is a bit more confined, exactly. because obviously you can reduce the amount of space you need for, for the gas locker. Exactly, so that's an additional benefit is, um, so typically uh, motorhomes will have, let's say two 11 kilogram bottles. With the diesel heater, you can get away with six kilogram uh, bottle for your stove and for the fridge. So this uh, frees up much more space. And on top of that, you can uh, add uh, additional 35 kilograms of load from the bottles you've saved because the bottles also weigh empty bottles also weigh something the control panel is quite familiar as well this in the allura we had the inet x control panel now i see here we've also got it linked up to a cp plus now because i'm more of a caravan man and i'm used to the gas electric i know the cp plus really well but this is quite uh, intuitive i didn't um have an instruction manual with me but i found the, the um menu easy to navigate is that a consideration for truma yeah definitely so as you mentioned before we have the cp plus and the inet x as panels for both the gas and the diesel version um the inet x panel was designed with the user experience in mind so every, everybody um, can navigate quite easily through it um, you have the option to switch on heating hot water um, if you want the boost function for a uh, specifically long shower, for example, you can also select that here. You also have the ability to select uh, the power source, whether it's diesel or whether it's electric only or a mixture. And one thing that also comes with the iNet X is the app. So you can download the iNet X to your app, uh, to your phone, and uh, control uh, the combi diesel for, from you know the comfort of your bed or if you're outside, for example. Again, very, very flexible system, allowing customers choice um, to choose the heating hot water systems depending on the weather and where they are and how they're using the vehicle. Great. That's absolutely fantastic. I mean, I think it's probably worth what doing. Obviously, we, we fit both the gas electric and the diesel. They're both fabulous. Um, but obviously, because we're, the diesel is new to us, it has been great to talk to you, just talk about the difference and maybe some of the features and benefits. The diesel system, we fit in all our Endeavour panel vans on our new Allura motorhome range. And obviously, we fit the, uh, the gas electric system in the remainder of our products. If you want to find out more, I mean, uh, I'm guessing visit the Truma website. There's a Truma, Truma website, which is www.truman.com .com and you can find out more language. about the two systems. Thanks very much for your time, Craig. That's been absolutely fascinating. Thank you very much. My pleasure. pleasure.